Hello everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to hack Pandemic 2, Flash Hacking. Um, now you can use the process of Flash Hacking, which I'm going to show you in Pandemic 2, to almost any game. Uh, I can name a few games right now. Um, there's OMG Pop, which was vulnerable, I'm not sure if it still is, uh, to the Gemmers game. There's um, this, obviously. There's Swords of Sandals 2. Which is a good practice game, and um, there's there's many more. Just find a flash game and see if you, and test to see if you can hack it, and most likely you could. Um, but not all games are flash hackable. Let's not um, get into that. I'm thinking, let let me not just promise you on that. Yeah. <laughs> so um, today we're gonna be uh, hacking Pandemic Two. What you need to do is you need to have Firefox. That's recommended. Um, and I, I think it's the best browser for flash hacking because they separate Adobe and a, a plugin manager okay so that's that you need Firefox you need a calculator that every Windows should have so yeah just type calculator out and bing bada boom you have one right there okay next thing you need is MHS which is also um abbreviated to mem memory hacking software or you can use cheat engine here's cheat, e cheat engine you just search cheat engine go here go to downloads and there you are or I'll give you the link you can also get memory hacking software which I'm going to be actually um, making a video on so here's memory hacking software go to downloads page yeah it's right here the latest version Okay, so I'm going to be doing a tutorial with Memory Hacking Software, MHS by El Spyro. Um, but you can use Cheat Engine if you want, if you know how to. So here's um, Pandemic 2. Let's press play. Uh, first, open up El Spyro's Memory Hacking Software, go to File, Open Process, and look for PluginContainer.exe in File Process. And it should look like this. Plugincontainer.exe opened by El Spyro. Plugin container is the container that uh, Firefox uses. And obviously Adobe is um, a plugin. So yeah. And why does that keep happening? Okay. So let's press play. And let's get through this. Okay. Okay, so um, I'm not gonna tell you how to uh, do your own um, process. I'm just I'm gonna show you how to change this Ford down here to something huge, like 190 or just you know just 99, and keep it at 99. Don't let it move from 99. So that means you have unlimited points, basically. Okay, so we have four. Um, in flash hacking, uh, I believe it was CS3 and CS4, or a little bit lower, uh, uh, flash. Uh, when creating stuff, the value is not actually what you see it is. It's times eight. It's multiplied by eight. Uh, I'm not sure if this goes with CS5, because I haven't tested some CS5 games, unless I have without noticing. But, um... Yeah, let's get a calculator out. And let's do 4 times 8 equals 32. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to be going to search and data type search or control shift S. Uh, or you can click this icon right here and site search for 32. Now it says we found 7,000. 202 results in less than a minute, like half a second. So that's pretty fast for finding stuff. Because here's 32s right here. Okay. And 
let's unpause the game change the value to a different number this is required because what we're doing basically is we're searching for a needle in a haystack and this haystack right now is 7202 let's say meters long let's let's call the let's let's call each number a meter okay and our um we're looking for a uh a needle in this haystack or we're going to be able to find more than one needle you never know when it comes to a different game you could be uh finding a thousand needles in one haystack and then you're going to have to improvise on how to change that needle's value so we search for 32 what is the current value now that it's changed to 7 on here is the question well the current value has changed obviously so it's it's changed to 7 so let's do 7 times 8 equals 56 okay so our current value now is 56 but it was 32 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a sub search which is this icon right here or search and then sub search down here so you wanna um, and I clicked the wrong search okay sub search <laughs> You want to uh, look for the value to find 56, exact value, now that we know uh, what we're looking for and press OK. Now it says it's found 1 in a total of 7,201. So, we found it. Uh, that, that's it right there, that 56. You can check if you want by unpausing and, I don't know, let's fast forward to get more. Okay, now it's 13. Now this value is 104, just so you can see, 13 times 8 equals 104. This is 104, the current value, the value that we searched, the current value, just double click it. Now it's over on this side. Right click, click modify selected. What, we, what do we want? We want 99 points. So let's do 99 times 8. Oops. 99 times 8 equals 792. Copy. Paste it right here. Value when locked. Paste it. Lock the item. And then click OK. Now you can unlock an item if you want. But if we keep it locked, we'll always have 99. Which is pretty nice. So we can exit out the calculator. If you're done, we can go to disease. And we can buy basically anything. Just, I'll give you an example. Um... Okay, we don't have rights to buy that yet. Or that. What's going on? Okay, never mind. I was getting confused. We already have fever because it's highlighted. I thought we don't have it because it's not. Okay, so we buy basically every tier. Buy every drug. And as you can see, the evolution points, 91, stuff like that. It's going down. It's going lower and lower. But then it goes right back to 95. 95, 95, 93, 91, 99, back to 99, and as you can see, we're buying basically everything. So, that's how you, um, I guess you win. Uh, let's, let's sell something. Let's just have them, uh, have a really bad, uh, a really good resistance and transmission will be uh what all these okay and you want this and you want this and you want to be careful on this you want to uh not vomiting you don't want something noticeable so uh sweating is good and just let it play out throughout the time and you're going to start um saying this get big and once it says it's moved to different countries, then start buying the dangerous stuff. Because once you buy the dangerous stuff, um, then everyone dies. First step is actually, um, you know, just moving, uh, moving it from different countries. You want to get all the countries, so you want to move it. As you can see, it's it's disease has arrived in Canada, spread to Mexico, but the planes are still moving. Okay, let's pause it real quick. We got a lot of news on here. Um, Governments have shut down hospitals, um, and 
Nothing about airports, though, because the airplanes are still moving. It's just a fever. Let's see. See, airplanes are still arriving. Where is that going to Florida? Nope. Where is it going? Going here. But this place is infected now. As you can see, it has infection on it. So, that's how you actually win in Pandemic 2. I just showed you how to hack it. Now, I just showed you how to win it. It's it's basically strategy. Even if you have unlimited money right now, you still need to know how to get the most points. And that's to make it spread before you go, go out crazy. Thanks for watching. <laughs>